Because climate change is so gradual, very few people feel the passion to act. Luckily, we have someone on this show who is extremely angry and passionate about this issue and really every issue. Please welcome <laughs> Ronnie Chang. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, f first of all, can you please stop telling everyone that I'm an angry person? All right, you made me sound like some kind of raving psychopath. I'm actually a really chilled out kind of guy, all right? How do you think I got my sponsorship with Ambien? <laughs> Ambien. Just go to, f to sleep already. <laughs> that being said, nothing wrinkles my ball sack more than people ignoring the threat of climate change. And last weekend, kids around the world decided they were sick of it too. Students in more than 100 countries took to the streets Friday demanding action on climate change. An estimated 150,000 students and adults took part in school walkouts organized mainly through social media and word of mouth. They're calling for, among other things, 100% renewable energy by 2030. The earth is dying. Stop denying. We call for a real national emergency. Hell yeah, kids. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I love seeing young people get fired up about what they believe in. It reminds me of when I was a teenager and I protested the Iraq war by crashing my dad's car into a tree while drunk. <laughs> also, it's pretty slick how they found a good reason to skip school. I mean, the kids were like, with the world the way it is, we cannot in good conscience go to class or do homework. Now let's head down to Cancun and fight climate change with Senior Frog. Whoa, climate, climate. So, I get why these kids are angry. The planet they're inheriting uh, is gonna get destroyed. The same way the microwave I inherited from my grandmother was destroyed by this weird sticky black stuff in it. You know what I'm talking about? It looks like burnt cheese, but it's not. And it looks wet, but when you touch it, it's like hard. Because like some goddamn barbarians didn't know how to use lids when they microwaved their shit. R Ronnie, are you, are you cursing out your deceased grandmother? Trevor, please, okay? This is a private matter between me and my gross dead grandma, all right? <laughs> anyway. The people in charge should be listening to these kids, but instead, they're going ahead with their plan to make as much money as possible while ruining everything in their path. The Trump administration has approved seismic testing along the Atlantic coast from Delaware to mid-Florida. Air guns dragged behind a vessel emit sound waves every 10 seconds that penetrate the seabed. The reflected pulses create a map of the oil and gas deposits below. Noise that can disturb sound-dependent marine life. Dolphins and whales rely on sound to communicate, find mates, uh, find food, and avoid predators. Just when I thought oil companies couldn't be more evil, now they're blasting the ocean with non-stop sonic waves. And you heard what that lady was saying. Whales use sound for everything, like hunting and finding a mate. Imagine being a whale. You think you're hearing all these mating calls. Next thing you know, you're having sex with a boat, okay? <laughs> and now your whale wife is divorcing you, your life falls apart, and you end up doing flips at sea world for meth, okay? It happens all the time. <laughs> oh, but, but don't worry, okay? If you ask the people who are blasting the sonic waves, turns out everything's gonna be fine. The government concedes there could be impacts, but not enough to kill or seriously injure marine life. Assurances echoed by the oil industry. We've been coexisting with marine ecosystems for years, and we just haven't seen adverse impacts. Really? You guys haven't seen any adverse impacts? Right now, there's a seagull saying, what was that? I, I couldn't hear you because I have too much oil in my ears. These guys have been spilling so much oil in the ocean, somewhere there's a polar bear being accused of blackface, all right? <laughs> also, why? It's terrible. There's context. Also, why are we believing anything these oil companies are saying when they haven't even cleaned up the shit they've already done? The longest oil spill in American history has been going on for 15 years now, nonstop, following Hurricane Ivan. Millions of dollars has been spent to try and clean up this disaster. Oh my God, how is the ocean even still water? At this point, it's gotta be just oil and Starbucks cups, right? Seriously, this oil spill is 15 years old. I'm surprised R. Kelly's not all over it by now. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is those kids were right. If we don't take the environment seriously, this plan is gonna end up looking like the inside of my grandma's microwave, okay? <laughs> so, I'm very proud to announce that today, I too am joining their protest. For the good of the planet, 
I will also be leaving work for the day, and I'm not coming back for two weeks. Whoa, Ronnie, you, Ronnie, you can't just leave. You're in the middle of a segment, dude. Shut up, Trevor, you corporate shill. Change has to start now and with me, okay? I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing. I'm gonna go home, put on some pajamas, and then do nothing. 